Just how popular is the World Cup in the U.S. this year? Look at this data from Verizon Fios. This is from Sunday night during the USA Portugal game, right after the U.S. scored for the first time. More than one million of Verizon's five million homes were watching the game. Viewership was 20 times higher than anything else on TV at that very moment. Of course, the match was a letdown for a lot of viewers, but not for ESPN or Univision. Nielsen ratings arrived on Monday morning, and they showed a new record for ESPN. The Portugal match was the network's highest rated men's soccer match ever, a lot higher even than last week's USA Ghana match, which was also a record setter. So far, ESPN's ratings are up about 30% from the last World Cup in 2010. Univisions are up too. USA! USA! But these Nielsen ratings, as impressive as they are, are wrong, they're incomplete. And here's how we know. Nielsen does not count bars, it does not count restaurants, it doesn't count any viewing that happens outside the home. Nor does it count any viewing on phones, computers, tablets, smartwatches, anywhere but a TV set. Nielsen's working on improving that, but for now, it obviously undercounts big sporting events that people like to watch together. Now all that said, there's no doubt soccer is becoming more popular here in the U.S. But let's keep these numbers in perspective. Sunday's match had a 9.1 overnight rating. The NBA Finals games this month were all above 10.0s. And the Super Bowl, well, that's still leaps and bounds ahead of everything else on American TV, even this amazing World Cup.